Anaphylactic shock is an acute systemic type 1 hypersensitivity allergic reaction that occurs after exposure to a certain foreign substance. In this case, the blood that is being transfused. Hello, Mr. D. My name is Chelsea and I'll be your nurse for the day. I'll be sitting with you for the next 15 minutes to make sure you don't have a reaction to the blood transfusion. The signs and symptoms of anaphylactic shock can vary. Mr. G is presenting with difficulty breathing, wheezing, hives, generalized arrhythmia, a decreased blood pressure, an irregular heartbeat, and anxiety. These are some common signs and symptoms of anaphylactic shock. Mr. G, it looks like you're going into anaphylactic shock. Your blood pressure is 80 over 50, your oxygen stats are at 80%, and your heart rate is 150. Mr. D? The patient has gone unresponsive. Code blue, room 202. Coming, the doctor and transfusion services have been notified of an anaphylactic reaction. The blood is now being discontinued and normal saline is being infused. The blood is also being checked against the patient ID band. Hello, Dr. Smith. As you were informed earlier, Mr. G had an anaphylactic reaction to the blood transfusion that was being infused. He went into anaphylactic shock. Code blue was called when CPR was initiated because the patient went into respiratory arrest and stopped breathing. 0.5 milligrams of epinephrine was given subcutaneously and 15 milligrams of Benadryl was given IM as ordered. The patient is now stable with normal saline running at 125 cc an hour and oxygen at 3 liters with his O2 fats at 97%. Blood pressure is now 108 over 70, pulse is 82, Respiratory rate 14 and sympathetic temperature is 37.5. Yep, okay. Thank you. See you shortly. Now I'm going to complete all sections of the transfusion reaction report form and contact the lab for collection of post-transfusion specimens as per VHA policy. You just went into anaphylactic shock. That's a severe allergic reaction to the blood that was being transfused. Your vital signs are stable now, but we will continue to monitor you for the next 12 hours because there is a chance of reoccurrence. Do you think you can push the call bell when you feel the urgency to urinate? Yeah, I think I could do that. Great, thanks, because we'll have to take a sample for further assessment. Thankfully, the appropriate and timely treatment for anaphylactic shock resulted in Mr. G making a full recovery.